these two teams faced off. What are you expecting from the rematch now that it's uh, in your own building? Um, a lot of the same. They're a pretty res resilient team that's playing well. So uh, you know, they got some key players that we got to be on top of, and um, you know, looking for a good start tonight. I know everybody says every game is big and every team wants the two points, but is it starting to feel bigger when you're playing against a team that you're both right there fighting for that playoff spot? Of course, I know uh, we know that uh, more than anything they want to catch us and we're a point of, uh, ahead of them, so we want to you know, try as best as we can to, to separate ourselves. So this is a time of year where um, a lot of teams are trying to pick it up a notch. Now, it's a big challenge for you tonight. Obviously, John Tavares would most likely be your assignment here tonight. Uh, he's a guy typically he's got a point a game against this, the Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, He's a guy you got to shut down here tonight. Uh, absolutely. I mean, that's that's part of the game plan. He's obviously a big player, uh, uh, you know, for their team and offensively uh, gifted. So, you know, he's going to make it hard on you if you don't make it hard on him. And uh, like I said, we got to limit his time and space and hopefully keep him off the score shoot. Talking to Austin Matthews, he was describing the, the balance that you guys have, people contributing. But in your perspective, just the rookies and what they've meant for the team this year. What has that been like watching? Uh, it's been fun. It's been very exciting. I think it's uh, kind of re-energized the whole group, just seeing a lot of new faces and a lot of young young faces. So, uh, you know, they've been great for us, obviously a big part of our team. And, and the balance and scoring throughout our lineup has, has definitely, you know, I think been the difference this year. What's the morning off? Uh, we haven't seen many optional skates that aren't back-to-backs. What's that do for you? you um... Just, uh, I mean, obviously we've talked a lot about rest and nutrition, and hydration. And obviously, we, you know, we got a big stretch coming uh, with a lot of games coming up here and, and a lot of important games. So I think just it's just because it's an opportunity to, to ease our minds and just get ready for tonight. Do you like morning skates or not? Um, I mean, I don't mind them. It, it, it really honestly depends how you feel in the morning. Um, you know, right now I think, uh, you know, taking that option is definitely uh, you know, going to be key for us. Now, when you look back at the recent stretch you've had more off games than you had earlier in the year as a team. And why is it hard to get everyone kind of going at the same time, not the same high level? Um, yeah, I mean, that's that's obviously, a, you know, a tough part. And, and when everyone is going, I mean, that, that just makes us a much more dangerous team. So that's really, um, you know, the consistency and finding, uh, you know, that for a young group is having everybody – um, you know, being ready at the same time, and and you know, like tonight's a great example. It's a big game, and um, you know, we should be ready to rock. Austin, which we're talking about, how they've never really been in a playoff race like this in their previous league. So, what would you, how would you describe what an NHL playoff race, a stretch drive, is going to be like for these guys? It's intense. It's fun. I mean, uh, these are the the type of opportunities that you uh, you relish, and. Um, you know, like I was saying before, if we wrote this up at the beginning of the year, we'd, we'd certainly take it. And this is where, uh, you know, good teams and good players come to play in times like these.